So Clover Health just went bananas and I want to show you exactly what's going on with the stock. I own shares. I've been accumulating Clover Health shares for a while because I like what they do as a business. And then I happen to just stumble upon it becoming a meme stock. So I want to dive into Clover Health. I'm going to show you some shares that I own. I'm going to show you my p and I've sold a little bit and now I've been selling covered calls and I want to show you exactly how I did that. So why don't we dive in? Ticker CLOV, which is Clover Health Investments, is going bananas. Last couple of days, it's been really wild. And I wanted to come on here and just show you exactly what I've been doing. So with this trade, when I saw it was up this morning, it was up yesterday and I sold a covered call and I thought, oh, I'm being clever. This works perfect. And then it was up after hours or pre-market again today. And now it's running like crazy. So one thing I want to talk about real quick is how to time your covered calls. If you own shares of a stock at a lower price, say your break even is, is below the current price of the stock, you're profitable and you're OK holding the shares for a little while. One thing you can do is just go sell your covered calls. You can get paid rent just to hold the shares. Now you can see right here, I've got about 300 shares uh, left of Clover Health. And what I've been doing with this is just going to the options chain and selling covered calls. And this morning it's been exceptionally juicy. And if you go 38 days out, you can see the volatility is about 179%. If we open that up and we come here to sell a call, and I'm gonna move myself over here, you can see that the 20 strike covered call on July 16th is trading right now at about $5.15 premium. So that would be $515 you could get paid for 100 shares just to hold the stock for 38 days and see if it in fact goes over $20. Now, because I bought these shares down in the $14 area, $13, $14 area, it means that if the stock goes above 20 and expires, I'll get paid the difference between 14 and 20, which will be 600. Plus, I keep the $500 premium or the 515 that I collected today. You can see my position is here. Now, I actually didn't get in on this at 515. It's, it's climbing now. I sold a contract this morning for $500 even. And now that it's climbing, if it continues to shoot up, I might sell one even further out, especially if the options chain expands. If we see the 21, 22, $25 strikes, I might see what's available even higher because it's a fine balance between wanting to collect a nice amount of premium and wanting to go out and get a high enough price so that you can make profit on the difference between where you bought the shares and where you ultimately get the shares called away from you. So the options chain is just going nuts this morning. Clove is, has been tagged a meme stock. I actually like what Clove does as a healthcare company. Um, I They find their model very interesting and that's why I originally started buying shares a, a while back. But then it caught wind as a meme stock because it does have some higher short float interest. And so I just happened upon this situation and now everybody's pumping it. So I'm going to go ahead and start selling into this and selling some covered calls. It's a great way to take some cash, especially on a stock that's only $17. A $17 stock, I'm getting almost 33% of the price of the stock in my covered call premium. And as you know, I like to shoot for at least 3%. So 30% 30, 30 is, is very acceptable for me. I will take that. So if we go back to the chart, let's just take another look. Yeah, so it continues to climb. This is very interesting. Um, I've been selling shares into this and I've been selling the covered calls into this. And you can see right now, you know, just a small position I have, but right now we're, we're up almost two grand just on the day. And I'm selling the covered calls for $500 so that will be additional profit that um, will be realized in the future within those 38 days but this is amazing um, what I'll do is if clove does have a large dip say tomorrow it opens and it drops pretty good if those options prices go down at all and it makes sense then I'll take those covered calls off for a cheaper price and keep the difference between where I sold them and where I bought them. And then maybe Clove will go for another ride higher. The nice thing is I like what Clove does, so I'm okay with it as a meme stock and I'm also okay with it as a company. So um, I'm just gonna sit tight and see where these covered calls go. But I did wanna jump on here and update you on this position because it's crazy. Uh, Clove's really pumping. Um, we'll have to see where this goes in the next couple of days. The next week could be interesting. I do like to sell covered calls on partial position and not on my whole position because you just never know. What if Clove decides to go to $30 today? 
I'll have some open shares that I could sell into that strength. One mistake I made in the unwind in 2020 during COVID was I bought a lot of shares really cheap and then I immediately covered them up with covered calls and then the stocks ripped back higher. And that's a problem because then you're stuck. You're stuck at whatever strike you pick and you can't ride some of those shares higher for profit because as we all know, we had a rip and rally out of the bottom and you could have made a lot of money if you would have held any shares open. So anyway, wanted to check in, show you my position in Clove. If you have any comments, questions, drop them below. Let me know if you own some Clove. Let me know how you're managing your position and I'll see you in the next video.